Well, if you're looking for refuge, know that there's a God who provides refuge, not just for the ones who have done good, but for even the ones who have done evil. In fact, God is a God who gives refuge to all people because he created all people. Psalm 31 says this, In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me and rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. And for your name's sake, you lead me and you guide me. You take me out of the net that they, your enemies, have hidden for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. We're in a day and an age when it's more and more uh, real that we need a place to find refuge. We need a, a person in whom we can rest. And that person is God himself. And that refuge is, in fact, God himself. It's in God's hands that we place our lives, even in the midst of uh, riots and injustice, even in the midst of times when we feel like we have no control because of COVID-19, even in times where you may be in a trial of suffering, where you want a place to rest. And that, that desire, that longing for a place to find refuge or rest is uh, God created. He put it in you so that you might see him and find him and uh, see him more clearly, even in this moment where we need a refuge. What it also does is points to Christ. We see at the very end of this statement here in Psalm 31, especially verse 5, it's the, it's the verse that Jesus quoted on the cross. He said, into your hands I commit my spirit. He is allowing the Lord to be the God who is the faithful one and the refuge for all people, even the ones who are our enemies. And so what we do when we put our trust and our faith in the Lord is that we say, not just for ourselves, but for the world, that there is a God in whom you can take refuge, and we find him in the Bible, we find him in a relationship through Christ, and we find him even in the moment when all of our sins, all of the brokenness, all of the injustice is placed on the person of Jesus, Jesus himself, now being the enemy of God because the sin of the world is placed on his shoulders. He himself says, into your hands, Father, I commit my spirit. Even this day, as you see the injustice done, as you want to respond by speaking truth to a world that needs to hear the truth, know that God is our refuge. He is our strength. He is our rock and our fortress in whom we can trust. He's the one who even this day can hold you and be faithful for you, and it's because of his son Jesus that he can do this.